Forrest Gump, a movie nearly twice as old as me, has got to rank as one of my most favorite number one super duper mega special cool movie of all time. We look at the first few minutes and it already looks like a great comedy with young Forrest Gump, a kid from Alabama who's Ain't the sharpest tool in the shed who is named after Nathan Bedford Forrest. And if you haven't watched the movie, you're probably thinking that this guy must be a pretty famous guy and maybe an American hero. Well, he was actually the most feared cavalry commander of the Civil War. Yeah, he just happened to be a Confederate and he happened to be the first Grand Wizard of the KKK. Anyways, because Forrest is one fry short of a Happy Meal, his mom has a discussion with the principal to allow him to enter school. Excuse me, give me a moment. Okay, apparently she Keep in mind that this is a PG-13 movie. Anyways, Forrest gets a nice education in Greenbelt, Alabama, and befriends Jenny on the bus, who becomes his best friend. He learns a lot about Jenny and how her father is a very loving man. And I'd like to reiterate here that uh, this movie is a PG-13 movie. Anyways, back to Jenny. Because of all the garbage that occurred to Jenny, she becomes a very troubled person. And many people would consider that she is a complete piece of crap. But while Jenny was hit living the hippie life, Forrest was accomplishing the American dream. He became football star, met JFK, documented the desegregation of the University of Alabama, got drafted into the army, was deployed in Vietnam, got a medal of honor, met LBJ, became a ping pong prodigy, went to China to compete in ping pong, met Nixon. Then he exposed Watergate, leading to Nixon's res resignation, created a shrimping company, alongside Lieutenant Dan, who was a senior officer from Vietnam who ended up losing his legs, but he played a pivotal role in providing comedic, comedic relief throughout the movie. The company was called Bubba Gum Shrimp, and it was for a war buddy who died in Vietnam, Bubba. Forrest and Dan survived Hurricane Carmen on the one of the shrimping boats, and after a while, Forrest decides that he, he really likes running, so he just decides to run without stopping. And he just runs for multiple years before he realizes, hey, you know what, I miss Jenny. And what do you know, Jenny has AIDS, and at least Lieutenant Dan invested in Apple, and now Forrest is practically a billionaire. Uh, eventually Jenny dies and Forrest takes care of the kid they had together. Overall, the movie was very well put together, and the satirical references to historical events is very interesting and intriguing. It motivates the viewer to keep watching, keeping them on the edge of their seat to find out what wacky event is going to be referenced next. The movie didn't really seem to have any pious or political agenda, which made the movie much better since I'd prefer a comedy movie that is just fun to watch and way more laid back. Nowadays, this type of movie would be nearly impossible to make with all the sensitivity regarding social issues that more modern movies usually try to avoid. Of course, some events were exaggerated, for example, when he ran for three straight years, but it's a fictional movie, so I don't, I don't think it takes away from the movie itself. The historical accuracy was very on point, with the most subtle references being included, like Lyndon B. Johnson's inappropriate and vulgar conduct during his pre presidency. Overall, the underlying purpose is to describe the randomness of life and how anything can happen to anyone, and it deserves an Oscar. Oh wait, it won six.